First off, I want to say this to ESPN app because that's the app that I normally use to look at recaps. Well, in this case, I don't know why it's doing this, but it seems like the alerts of the Florida Panthers all of a sudden just cancels out. Everything is all gone. So I don't even see the Florida Panthers on my favorite list anymore. They're gone. So that means I have to manually go to NHL and look at the, the recap from there. It is stupid. It is absolutely stupid. I can, all, I, all I usually do, go to the ESPN app. There's the Panthers and whatever game it is. Bam, I'm right there. But no, it's gone. I don't see the Panthers team on my favorites anymore. Except for everything else. I even re-enabled the alerts four times. And it does not pop up. ESPN, fix your shit. Or, or I'm gone. Period. I paid so much. I paid. I'm literally paying 10 bucks a month to watch this team every freaking time. And for you to get rid of it like that is bullshit. Alright, so that's my that's my rant. That is my rant for this uh, catastrophe. What about the rest of the game? This game sucked. It sucked for it sucked, it sucked for a lot of reasons. First and foremost, we, we there was no there was a lot of opportunities that we never even get to get behind. Er, Urson was a good goalie, yes, but my God, you have to capitalize. And number two, do you really have to lose when I'm when I'm at the game? Seriously, it could have been any other time, but when I'm there, you say, oh, "Okay, let's break Miami TVG's heart." And then we suffered a heartbreak, literally, literally right at the end of the game. And oh, and the referee sucked that game too. So it's Bobrovsky going up against Samuel Erson. The first period, there were chances from both sides, and uh, nobody was able to score a goal at this one. Um, we we have a debut. We have a debut. Uh, as I get there, as I'm going to get there right now. There we go. We got the debut of Vladimir Tarasenko um, for tonight. And he has played pretty good, I thought. Um, Forsling played excellent. He has a goal today. Uh, but not enough to beat Philadelphia. Just not enough to beat Philadelphia. Nobody scored in the first half. There were there were a couple of pushing and shovings, but not nothing really too dramatic. Urson was a was a brick wall in the first period alone. Second period in this, and I don't, I don't want to waste too much time at this recap because I did, I did attend this game, and I think, I think the vlog video will speak for itself. Off the face off, off the face off of Ryan of uh, polling, polling right. Off the face off, he scores a goal. Ten seconds into the second period, assisted by Travis Sonheim, which is his thirtieth assist, and Cam York. That's his fourteenth assist. Off the wrist shot is pulling with his with his uh, eighth goal of the season. One nothing Philadelphia. Just uh, horrendous. Then Nick Cousins gets called for tripping against Edgar Zamola. And and I, I'm sorry. That's that is that's a terrible call. First off, Nick Cousins, it's not like he was gonna intentionally trip this guy, Zamola. He fell on his own, and he just so happens to catch Zamola from behind. It is an unintentional contact. He fell on his ass. And yet that's get called. That's get called for tripping. Meanwhile, meanwhile, our players are getting tripped blatantly, and they don't even have the guts to call it. Penalty was killed off. And um at two minutes after the after the power play, um we do have a goal. It's, this is assisted by Anton Lundell. That's his 19th assist of the season. And Aaron Eggblad. That's his 13th assist of the season. Off the snapshot, the guy who has signed an eight-year extension with the Florida Panthers. That's right. It's Gustav Forsling off the snapshot. 
and he drills it from the right, and he gets by Urson. It ties the game at 1-1. So awesome. Awesome sauce. Mark Stoll. Welcome back, Mark Stoll. They made they did a little tribute at the game. Um, to say welcome back, Mark Stoll, who was the far, former Panther from last season. He gets called for a trip against Carver Hickey. That will be the only power play for Florida tonight. And Florida's power play was killed off. So there's that. And we got two penalties. One from Kachuk, which is a slashing against Garner Hathaway. And Garner Hathaway gets called for a rough against Matthew Kachuk. Both of them were number 19. And they both go to the penalty box where 4-on-4. Four four, and, and the 4-on-4 four four would be killed off. Um, and, uh, there were, there was, uh, since then, there was really one or two shots on goal when they were from Philadelphia, but that was safe by Bobrovsky. Third period, um, there was a deflection of no one, Cates, but that was safe by Bobrovsky right off the bat. There would be a couple of hits. There would be some pushing and shoving towards Bobrovsky's nets. Bobrovsky did everything he possibly can to keep the game alive for the Florida Panthers. But the problem is the Florida's off, especially the second line. I thought the second line was horrendous. I thought the second line of the Florida Panthers were horrendous tonight. They they were not they were not making smart plays to get themselves wide open to get the possession of the puck, and they keep missing. Philadelphia also having the same issue, but the most frustrating no call. But Broski gets tripped and bulged over by Philadelphia. No freaking call. Literally no freaking call. A few a couple minutes later, the same guy who get called for a roughing as Matthew Chuck is what is what broke our hearts. This assist by Noah Case, that's his 10th assist of the season. And Mark Stoll, that's his 4th assist season. Off the wrist shot, it's Garnet Hathaway for Philadelphia. And that's it. There was an empty net opportunity, but <laughs> make the long story short, there was no empty net goal. There was no goal. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Final score of this game, 2-1, just absolute heart. Th this was brutal. This game, this was brutal to watch. It sucked. And what's worse is I had to witness it uh, in my own eyes. When we looked at, when we look at the team stats, Florida had more shots. Florida had more hits. Florida definitely had more power, um, face-off wins. Um, two po total penalties. The, the most frustrating part about this game is no matter the, the offense that we had, majority of those were blocked. 29 blocks that Philadelphia has made. And they've taken away the puck 26 uh, times. We've given away 14 times. That's bad. That's really bad. Those were the killers of us. But bottom line, if you don't score a freaking goal, you're not going to win. Our losing streak is over. Um... I trust me. I was, I kind of was, uh, in the moments after the game. It was, it was, a, it was not a good look on my part, but I couldn't help it because, a, it's rare for me to go to these games because I, I, not here a lot. And number two, and number two, these aren't cheap. They really is aren't cheap. So. And I also thought it would be a nice, nice night to go out to see play to see hockey, and it, and it was, it was. But I don't know, man. Anyway, stars of the game: Garnett Hathaway with one star because he did a walk off. Number two stars is Samuel Erson with two stars, three stars. They give it to Gustav Horsling for three stars, and okay, I'll take that one. But anyway, guys, their next game is on Saturday against the Calgary Flames. And I just, I just don't. Know why this doesn't freaking work? This ESPN. I don't know. I hope I hope they fixed it. I don't. I hope they fix it tomorrow because this is this is seriously giving me a headache. I I hate, I hate this app. I you know fuck this shit. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content because my TV gets it back. And when he does, hit me right there with a fair tenant you deserve. ESPN, fix your shit. 
because because then I'm not going to know what's going to happen next. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.